SpaceX's Raptor 3 engine, a game-changing addition to the rocket propulsion family, has stunned NASA with its impressive power and efficiency. SpaceX has an ambitious goal of revolutionizing space travel, whether it's about launching 200 successful Falcon rocket missions consecutively, building a base on the moon, or establishing the first human colony on Mars. The possibilities seem endless. And at the heart of these endeavors lies the powerful Raptor 3 engine, designed to propel SpaceX's Starship on interplanetary missions. Recently, the SpaceX propulsion team reached a critical milestone. The Raptor 3 engine achieved a staggering 350 bars chamber pressure, translating to an astonishing 269 tons of thrust. To put things into perspective, the Russian RD-180 engine, one of the best of its kind, generates 386 tons of sea-level thrust, but uses two combustion chambers and two nozzles. A significant achievement was recorded during a 45-second static fire of the Raptor 3 engine, which even surprised SpaceX. Despite being in uncharted territory and not expecting the engine to survive a full-duration run at such high pressure, the Raptor 3 engine managed to withstand the conditions. The first version of Raptor engine, a full-flow staged combustion cycle engine, was groundbreaking in itself. Producing 185 tons of thrust, it leveraged methane as the fuel of choice. This was quite a radical decision, as the space industry had long relied on either kerosene or hydrogen. However, methane offered numerous benefits such as easier storage, less engine sooting and greater potential for on-Mars fuel production. Building on the success of the Raptor 1, the Raptor 2 arrived, boasting an increased thrust of 230 tons. The Raptor 2 brought improved efficiency and reliability while maintaining the use of methane for fuel. The latest marvel, the Raptor 3, has truly taken things to new heights. This high-performance beast delivers an impressive amount of thrust, a leap of nearly 17% from its predecessor. It's not just about raw power. The Raptor 3 engine features advanced heat management techniques and a more streamlined design, making it a robust engine fit for the demanding environments of space. Now, one might wonder, why does SpaceX invest heavily in producing a unique engine, instead of using other engines already available in the market, like its competitors do? There are several reasons. Firstly, SpaceX's vision is very different from that of other space companies. Its ultimate goal is to enable human life on Mars, a task that requires not just raw power, but also unparalleled efficiency, reliability, and reusability, qualities that are not necessarily present in available engines. Secondly, by developing its own engines, SpaceX can customize them to fit the exact requirements of their spacecraft, like the Starship. This level of customization would be impossible to achieve with an off-the-shelf engine. Most importantly, having in-house production control allows SpaceX to innovate rapidly and independently. They can implement changes faster and more effectively, and they are not at the mercy of external suppliers for crucial components. This gives SpaceX a competitive edge, allowing it to stay at the forefront of space technology innovation. SpaceX is striving to simplify things on the Raptor to benefit production and repair. One aspect of this is the elimination of engine heat shields, a task fraught with difficulties, but one that Musk and his team are keen on achieving. One of the questions posed to Musk pertained to regenerative cooling, previously discussed in relation to Raptor 1 and Raptor 2 engines. Musk confirmed that the Raptor 3 engine still requires additional throat film cooling, but efforts are being made to mitigate the risks of melting in the chamber converging section using thermal barrier coatings. SpaceX's ultimate goal for the Raptor engine is exceptional reliability, even in the harshest environments. The Raptor engine's reliability was put to the test in the landmark Starship launch on April 20th. The highly anticipated Starship launch took off from SpaceX's Starbase test site in Boca Chica, Texas on April 20th. Just after liftoff, discrepancies in the performance of several of the 33 Raptor engines were noted. Video footage from SpaceX's webcast revealed that a few engines didn't appear to be firing. The data displayed indicated that three Raptor engines malfunctioned within the first 15 seconds. Two of these were from the outer ring, and one was from the center section, with the ability to gimbal. The trouble didn't stop there. At T plus 40 seconds, another engine from the outer ring shut down, followed by another 20 seconds later. By T plus 100 seconds, six engines were not operational, though one was momentarily restored. 
According to SpaceX's flight plan, the Raptor engines in the Super Heavy booster were scheduled to shut down at T plus two. This was to be swiftly followed by the separation of the Starship upper stage and the ignition of its six Raptor engines. However, the combined Starship Super Heavy stack began to tumble as the engines in Super Heavy continued to fire. At T plus four minutes, the flight termination system was activated and the vehicle broke apart. Despite the failure, SpaceX employees celebrated the progress made during the flight. Nonetheless, this mission raised concerns about the Raptor engine's reliability. However, engine failures are not uncommon in the history of space exploration. They are part of the process, serving as stepping stones towards greater achievements. This incident with the Raptor engines has reinforced the need for continuous improvement and relentless testing. The failure of the Starship launch also had repercussions on the launch pad and the surrounding area at SpaceX's Starbase site in Boca Chica, Texas. The launch pad, the immediate area where the Starship had lifted off from, took the brunt of the impact. The blast effects resulted in scorching and potential structural damage to the launch infrastructure, including the pad's flame trench, which is designed to redirect the extreme heat and energy produced during liftoff. This event serves as a sobering reminder of the risks and challenges involved in space exploration. Instead of downplaying the incident, the company took it as a valuable learning experience. In fact, they are doubling down on the progress of the Raptor 3. They are conducting a thorough investigation of the incident, using the data gathered to improve the design and engineering of the engine. The success of SpaceX and this new is bringing humanity closer to achieving extraordinary feats, like building the first Martian colony by 2050, or landing NASA's Artemis astronauts on the moon after 2025. The Raptor engine is integral to SpaceX's mission to revolutionize space travel, and its exceptional power and efficiency are significant steps toward establishing a spacefaring civilization. And there you have it. If you found this information useful and want to stay updated on the latest developments, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.